we think that money is the source of happiness. With money we think we can buy everything we like. We can have all the things with which we can enjoy our lives. And of course, the consumer society is ready to provide us with all of those things. The nice car, the nice house, the beautiful wife, the lovely husband, the smiling children, the fast food, the drinks, the holiday, the white mischief holiday. As I saw on the TV, la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. I didn't think it was going to happen in India. You see, we are bombarded 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. We are bombarded with the doctrine, with the religious texts of this religion. The advertisements, buy this, buy that, have this, have that. If you buy this car, your life will be so good. You drink this drink, you'll be happy, you'll be dancing, you'll be smiling. Is that the reality? Do you really think if you drink this soft drink with all that sugar, you're going to look like those people in the advert? You know how they look? They're young, they're beautiful, they're smiling, their teeth are sparkling. Yes? You think that's the reality? No. If you drink too many soft drinks, you get fat and your teeth fall out. That's what really happens, but that's not what they tell you in the advertisement. The advertisement says, yes, drink Coke. It's the real thing. Huh? It's the life. Buy this car. Have this holiday and you will be so happy. And oh, yes, we're all fooled. We're all taken in. And so now we're so busy, all of us running, 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 to see how much money we can accumulate, how much wealth we can we generate. Because now we imagine, we have been convinced, we have been indoctrinated. Wealth equals happiness. It's the American dream. The American dream. We have all been sold the American dream. And we all want to live the American dream. There's only one problem. Well, actually, there's more than one problem. But the first problem is this. 70%, 70 percent, 70 percent, 70 percent of the world's resources is being consumed by 17% of its population. 17% of the world's population consume 70% of the world's resources. That 17% is largely concentrated in the Western Hemisphere. Now, the first problem is this. There simply are not enough resources on this planet that we live to provide for everybody to live like the average American. If you want to live like an average American, do you know how much resources we would need if every human being on this planet was to live like the average American? We would need three planets we would need three Earths in order to be able to do that. But oh dear, we've only got one planet. We've only got one Earth, not three. How are we all going to live the American dream? There is not enough resources on this planet in order for us to be able to do that. That's the first problem. The second problem is more deep. And this is something I would like everybody here in the audience, everybody out there who may be watching this at home, on the TV, I would like you to think about this. 
Is it really true, my friends? Is it really true, my brothers and sisters, that wealth equals happiness? Is it really true? Of course. I am not suggesting and I am not advocating that human beings live in poverty. But does wealth really equal happiness? 